Oh my goodness. Oh man. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. As you can see, uh, we got some problems here. Uh, That's a small, a small problem. Yeah, just a small problem, but uh, it's okay. We'll be able to take care of it. Uh, I mean, we can uh, we can fix it. It's just metal. Yeah, well, we had a guy, uh, a guy pull out in front of us the other day and uh, got, uh, got the brakes locked up and got a little bit sideways and she tipped over on us. Uh, my youngest daughter, Elsie, was with me. Uh, she's fine, we're both fine. Um, appreciate everybody checking on us and asking about us. So, but yeah, we're both fine. And uh, let's walk around and take a look and see what the damage is. So you see, we took out the uh, the windshield and the door here, and the top sides, and the roll cage is pushed over, as well as the B pillar right here. Um, but that, I mean, pretty much, that's the damage. Is just the doors. I will have to like check these uh, these doors out here. They look a little bit twisted. But that may be just from the top. Yeah, so the roll cage... Um, did its job. Yeah, it did its job. It's just pushed over. Uh, we were both hanging from the seat belts. Uh, we didn't uh, didn't get hurt or anything. So it's uh, it's amazing. We were definitely, definitely lucky. Yeah, you did. You sure did. Wow. So then this door's got a little kink in it right here. I may be able to make some hard half doors out of those. Um, and then really the, the hood, the hood got mashed down. So I don't know, I know a, a buddy of mine's a dent guy, so I don't know if he can take care of that or not. So we'll, uh, we'll see what we can do about it. How long did you have on the road before? Was it like a, a uh, I was, two, no, it was actually over a month. We, was it? yeah, I was looking back at some pictures and, uh, February 27th or 26th, I think I took a picture of it. We had been driving it for maybe a week then. So it was probably mid February. We got it, uh, got it fixed. Got it back on the road. Okay. So what do you, uh, what do you want to do today, man? Well, I think we're gonna pull the, uh, pull the glow plugs out, clear the cylinders out. Because you haven't started it. Since, I have not started. Because you it. said that you it, it locked up on you locked up the brakes, and you think it may have cut out before. You, yeah, I think before you the, flipped yeah, it. Yeah, I think the engine was dead before it ever rolled and got off its wheels. Okay. Um, so it doesn't have any oil in it. All the oil ran out on the ground when it uh, when it rolled. So we got to put some oil in it. We got to check the uh, the cylinders and make sure they don't have any oil in them. Make sure they're not hydro locked. Um, probably do, do a compression test because uh, yeah. I haven't done that since we like, I got it running from the rebuild. So just check that and make sure everything's good on there. Okay. I don't have any reason to suspect that it's not, but just always good to check that. So All let's right. get to it and hopefully we can fire it up. <laughs> yep. All right, let's do it. Clean. All right, guys, we got the glow plugs pulled out, and I got some paper towels over uh, the number two and the number four because those two glow plugs uh, had some oil residue on them. So I'm expecting some oil to come out of, out of there. So I did that and put a little rebar on there to keep them from blowing out of the way. And we're going to crank the engine over, purge the cylinders, and then we'll do the compression test. All right.
You gonna help dad fire up the truck? Yeah. So we can do this compression test? Yeah. You're the man. What do you think? Can we fix her? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. You gonna help? Yeah. I like his style. Yeah. Everything looks good. Uh, I went to go do a test fire on it and uh, with the way the wind's blowing, it's kind of pointing right into that lady's house. So Kev's gonna hook up the winch on the 80 and uh, gonna pull the 40 out of the way and then we'll do a test fire. So it was a success. Uh, we got the 40 started up. Um, engine looked healthy and we got the oil added back to it. I uh, did a compression test on it. Uh, compression tester wasn't working, but it looked real good. Uh, but it looked like it had pretty good compression on there. Uh, we took it for a drive. Uh, everything is just a short drive you saw. We, so everything seemed good on that. So we'll, uh, we'll keep on working. In the meantime, if you guys know of any parts out there, any, uh, any unfinished projects or anything with a good looking patina on it, uh, please let us know down in the comments be below or uh, reach out to us uh, on uh, Facebook, Instagram, and let us know. Appreciate you guys watching. Please like, share, and subscribe, and we'll let you know what we're doing next time on Music City Cruisers. <laughs>